a show of military power in Timbuktu. Two days after the Malian army lost control of the historic town to Tuareg rebels, a group of men never seen here before showed up in the streets with tanks, military vehicles and some heavy weapons. They call themselves Ansaruddin, which in Arabic means the champions of religion. They also say they prefer to be simply called the Mujahideen. For many years, these men have been fighting in the desert and living in mountain caves. But now they say it's time for them to try a new strategy and move into towns. Without a fight, Ansaruddin pushed their rivals, members of the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad, to the outskirts of Timbuktu. Now they say they're here to enforce order and security. We were very far from here, but we came to Timbuktu for the rescue of people who called for our help. You should ask them now about how the situation was and what we did for them. In the marketplace, people gather to talk to the new leaders, some with complaints, some with demands, and some just out of curiosity. At least in front of them, people spoke favorably of the men in charge. Uh, we are very happy for the arrive for these people. When they didn't come in, we are very fry. Afraid. Afraid. When they come, they said for the people, we are here for us. For you, we are here for the peace. I thank these people who, after the Malian army fled, came here to enforce law and order. People here are suffering a lot. They don't have jobs or food or anything, but at least they have security. That security, however, is not certain. There is a potential for confrontation. The area is divided between rival groups and Ansaruddin, which do not recognize the new state announced by Tuareg fighters. Our stance towards the Republic of Azawad is just like our stance toward all other republics. They do not concern us. Our purpose is to spread Islam on the land of God. Among the scenes Ansaruddin wanted us to film is this. They also distribute cereals in mosques and provide water and power services for the population. A battle for hearts and minds in an area that stands at a crossroads not certain if it will continue to be part of Mali or become a new state or turn into another lawless land. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Timbuktu.